I just wanted to give you guys a trigger warning for suicidal ideation. And my poem is titled Black Beads. I gaze into the mournful black beads, its yellow glimmer fading as seconds pass. The full gold reflects its ethanol of your sweating pale flesh. The radiant crisp of light warms our honey gold skin, earning my sunken cheeks. Our eyes are fixing on the deep indigo of the blind. The gaunt feathers shielding us for milliseconds. Their mouths full of lost treasury. My soft-hearted <coughs> sinless mother, always wanting to swim into the algae-infested lagoon. Oh my God, you made it look so easy to live. But I wanted the salt to absorb my lungs. I wanted the waves to impale my nostrils, feeding into my capacious cranium. I wanted my fingertips to turn serene blue as the waves that doused our feet. Because you and I both know my one true love was death. So now I stare blankly through the shadow of red glass, the shards sliding down my arms into my phantom palms, dropping fresh arterial blood onto my bleached thin carbon. The dread washing over me, each thin splatter colder than the last, each drip filling the length of the pressing dust. Ominous silence creeps into my head while my painless wounds separate me from me. But I can feel your resolute and ill-timed presence against my punctured veins. Wailing and howling at the brutal sight, you close your eyes, praying to a God whom you know I'm destined to meet. And still, tears pour from your already mournful black beads. Clear spatters surround me, combining with the dry blood, liquefying it once more. You say you cannot let me float among the stars. You do not want me to give gentle flutters to Hypnos or pass lightly against Orion. You hold my scarred and captive body and weakly embrace my premature livelihood. But my cold and misshapen hand brushes your droplets. And I whisper sweet lullabies so that you may return to our eidetic memories. Please forgive me, brother, for only a fatal boy lives now and mine's little black